Hi there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today's gear video, we're going to be taking a look at the Cry Combat Pants, Trousers, Generation 3, and the Multicam Arid. Now if you're familiar with the Gen 3 Combat Pants in the standard Multicam or the solid colours that Cry have been doing for a while, you're going to be familiar with these. Uh, I actually have, or had, the, the Gen 3s and the standard Multicam for well, a couple of years now. Um, I never actually did a video on the channel here about those. So when I picked up the Multicam Arid when these came out, I thought I'd take a look over them. If anyone's considering these, obviously they're not a cheap purchase. So the more information you have, the better, knowing it's off the battle. And, or in the case of uh, buying gear, pretty much all of the battle. So we're going to put these down on the tabletop, I'm going to run through all the features, all the numerous pockets that it has. Uh, overall, I can tell you before we even go into that, that these are popular with all the sort of top tier special forces operator cool dudes for a reason they are very nice I've used them myself uh, a couple of times or my, my other versions you know and having the, the integrated knee pads uh, the stretch panels all these pockets of stuff they are very awesome and uh, just just great in, in how much stuff you can stash away in them in particular having these main cargo pockets with elastic loops on the inside of them so you can secure something around the size of a 30 round 556 magazine that is a great feature so yeah we're going to put these down on the tabletop guys and uh, we'll take a look starting off down at the ankles we've got our ankle cuff adjustment velcro nice and simple pretty standard there and moving up slightly we have a velcro secure pocket which is billowed and with a drainage grommet sewn into it. Small items, as you see about the size of my hand there. On the rear, this is the tight tightening for your knee pad, so you can cinch that down like so when you're wearing them, and that will uh, help to control the actual knee pad itself when it's inserted into the pocket. The actual main cargo pockets are more towards the rear of each trouser leg, Again, double Velcro tab, double billows, and drainage grommet sewn in just there. For any of you who aren't so familiar with that sort of thing, the, these billows or pleats as they're sometimes referred to basically means the pocket will sit flat like that when there's nothing stored inside it. And then when you add items onto the inside, it just gives it room to expand. It's more difficult to sew, costs more, but then you know that's sort of what you'd expect at uh, cry prices. Um, you then got your standard rear pockets, not massive, but they're a reasonable size. Zip closure on those, YKK zips, stretch fabric, um, that sort of rear waistline, waist tab adjustments on each side, which can be uh, tucked away and. Uh, belt loops of course that'll fit up to a two inch belt no worries quite wide loops nice and strong lots of extra stitching on these nice and reinforced on the front of each leg first feature you come across is the knee pad pocket obviously this is a pretty famous feature by now bar tacking here and here reinforced on the stress points fits those those cray knee pad inserts has a blanking plate so when you don't have a knee pad inside you fold this plate up here and then when you do want to insert your knee pad that gets tucked inside that exposes the actual pocket and you've got velcro that interfaces with the knee pads once they're in they are they are a little bit fiddly to get in at, certainly at first but they're all right once you get a hang of it and they do stay in there nice and securely Stretch fabric, of course, so that when you do kneel down, these will stretch, keeps things comfortable. Another pocket on the front. This is where the adjustment toggle is. So when you, if you want to lift up the knee pad here, you tighten this bungee cord with the cord lock here and loosen it up again when you want to uh, lower the pad down. Again, this pocket is billowed, pleated uh, with another drainage hole. Look for securing. Uh, there's a small pocket just above the main cargo pocket. This would be good for stashing like a multi-tool or a small knife. 
and then you've got your standard slash front pockets like bulk standard trouser pocket the belt loops around the very front of the trouser here have hanging loops on the bottom of them so you can uh, hang stuff off of there or attach other things Foco closure at the top of the fly YKK zip for the fly closure makes a lot of sense to me. I hate, personally, I hate button flies. They're slow and awkward. Uh, I, I don't see the point of them. I've never found them to be a good idea. Stretch material here, right in the in sort of groin gusset area. Give you plenty of maneuverability. And in the waistline, padding, more so at the back primarily. Just uh, in this, all throughout this area, padding just gives you a little bit extra comfort, especially because there's going to be you know, a high chance that you've got equipment, holsters, pouches, whatever attached to the belt that's going through these belt loops. And of course, just to remind you that you've spent tons of money on gear, there's your little nice piece of cry precision there, little ribbon there, very Gucci. That right, guys is about it. Obviously, the stitching is perfect throughout. Uh, you, you know, if, <laughs> if you did get a pair that wasn't perfect, I would uh, get onto cry immediately. These aren't going to last you forever. They're not the most durable. You know, people have this misconception that if you're paying a ton of money, they're all, all of a sudden going to be super durable. But if you made these trousers out of a heavier fabric and added more stitching, they'd just be heavier and less maneuverable and you'd have less freedom of movement. So there are reinforcements at key stress areas like in the knee pads there, on the belt loops, that sort of thing. But for the most part, it's just single stitch throughout uh, in, in most areas. Uh, with some areas of double stitching like just along here around the stretch material and that sort of stuff like the stretch material on the knees is going to be uh, used and take quite a lot of use and abuse so yeah but other than that guys that is all the features okay folks so that was a close in on the cry generation 3 combat pads this is the multi camera these are available in a plethora of colors these days ever since uh, multicam came out with that whole new range of patterns you got the original Multicam, Ranger Green, Khaki, Black, Multicam Arid, Multicam Tropic, and Multicam Black, which is different from normal black. Um, so yeah, if by pure chance anyone's not familiar with the Cray website, or the link down in the description. If you enjoy the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think might be interested. Uh, thank you for watching guys. Check out the Facebook and the Instagram links below do daily updates with all sorts of gear and tactical shiz. So yeah, thank you again for watching. See you next time.